All right, the chase for the championship is officially on. Live pictures from Houston tonight. The Michigan Wolverines just days away from taking on Washington in the college football championship. Well, Bernie is here right now with us before making your big trip down to Houston. Where's the Greyhound? Yeah. Is it out there waiting for oh, you? We're going to gas it up here any moment, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're trying to get gas money together right now. But Michigan has not won a national title since 1997, and back then they had to split it with Nebraska. But this game against Washington for all the marbles on Monday night in Houston, we've got high, highlights of the Bayou City, H-Town, Space City, 713, no video. I wrote all that. We're not going to see Houston. What? Those are the nicknames for the, for the uh, uh, city down there. They're expecting thunderstorms on Monday night. However, the stadium does have a retractable roof, so the game will be dry. Okay. Yeah. I hate to see my hair in a thunderstorm. The Wolverines favored by four and a half. Both teams unbeaten. So you truly do have the best in college football for this season in this game. Standing by live in Houston with more on the atmosphere and how it's building towards Monday is Hobie Arteague. Hey, Hobie. Hey, Bernie, I'm kind of like you. The weather, I'm not really looking forward to it, but hopefully things don't rain on Michigan's parade as they chase that national championship. You, of course, mentioned it. This place is called Space City, and so far this season for the Wolverines, it's been out of this world. Undefeated as they now head into this national championship against Washington. Players excited, but so too are the fans that we spoke to on the way here to Houston today. As Michigan soars to the top of the college football world, Wolverines fans are along for the ride, taking off for Houston to see their team take the national title. With everything this team has been through this year, it's they've kept their head on straight. They haven't let any of this bother them. They're focused and they're determined, and that's what they want, and that's what the fans want. It's a trip fans have waited for for decades. Michigan's last championship coming back in 1997. How excited are you for this experience? Uh, very. Um, I missed the uh, 97 championship game, and uh, I wasn't going to miss this one. So lifelong fan and lifelong season ticket holder. But in the sea of maize and blue from Detroit to Houston, a bold shade of purple. Go dogs. This native of Washington lives in Metro Detroit, proud to show off his UW pride, from his Huskies gear to his real Husky at home. There's a lot of fight in these dogs, so <laughs> don't underestimate you know, what a dog has, and it's got a lot of fight. We like being the underdog. I am happy to be rooting against Michigan. <laughs> don't tell the rest of my family, but uh, yeah, I'm a Spartan fan, but rooting on the Huskies this weekend. Two teams that are decades removed from a championship with only one taking a title on Monday. Just love watching them play and the joy that they have to play together. Uh, it really seems like they're a cohesive bunch. Brings you some joy as a fan? Absolutely, yeah, 100%. More, more joy when they win. <laughs> <laughs> and that fan we spoke to is from Grand Rapids. He said he booked his flight here weeks ago, but he said other family and friends are actually having trouble getting to Houston. He said that some family members are flying into places like Austin, Texas, and then driving down here. Some people are driving from Grand Rapids here to Houston for the game. Either way, people coming here excited and ready to go for what's to come on Monday night. Bernie, let's toss it back to you in studio. All right, Hobie, thank you much. Should get themselves a Greyhound. They can get there quicker. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Wolverines are gearing up for Houston. Ann Arbor's getting ready for the Michigan fan base. Megan Woods live from downtown Ann Arbor with how the anticipation's building. Good evening, Megan. Hey, good evening. So yes, we are right in front of the M Den and this is the spot to be. We have bumped into so many fans stopping here to get ready for Monday night, even bumped into some people who say they're going to Houston this weekend. Now we spoke to the manager inside. He says it's all hands on deck. They're so busy. And then from the safety side, you have the police saying they're going to have an even bigger presence. Take a look. Monday can't get here soon enough. Excitement is building among fans. This means everything. We beat Alabama. We're going to the Natty and we're going to bring it home. Go blue. And sales are booming for businesses like the M Day. Throughout the week, it just got busier, busier, and busier. Have any questions? No, I think we're good. No deal. You're in the right spot. Go blue. <laughs> Go blue. Online sales have been huge. You know, in some cases, we have sold out of some product already before it even arrives to our warehouse. The day after the Rose Bowl victory, people were lined up outside before they opened. He expects it to get even busier. This is kind of different, you know. So at, at this time in January, we may not be this busy. But because of what's going on, you know, we have to call in some more troops to really, 
you know, man our stations and really keep the stores going. Ann Arbor police will also have more officers patrolling, especially on foot. So we are preparing by getting lots of staff available, um, talking with our local businesses, trying to get plans, make sure everyone knows what, what capacity limits are. The interim police chief says they will be approaching Monday differently. The home games, we have a very large crowd, mostly in one place. You know, there's some tailgating here and there, but mostly everyone's at the stadium. They come at the same time they leave. Um, this has kind of got people dispersed. We're anticipating a lot of folks at our bars and restaurants throughout the day, and then a lot of house parties. Even while we've been out here today, we've seen a traffic pick up and then uh, students start back school on Wednesday. So throughout the weekend, more and more people will be back in town. And when we're talking about safety, police know that people are going to drink. They just ask that people do it responsibly and have a ride and do not do any underage drinking. Reporting live in downtown Ann Arbor, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Yeah. Okay, Megan, we appreciate that so much. And we want to remind you guys, Local 4 will get you ready for the the big game. Bernie, Hobie, both will be there to bring you all the action live from Houston Monday Leaving night now. at 6 30. Okay, Bernie's on his way right now. The Greyhound is out back. This will happen only on Local 4, a 30 minute chase for the championship special with player interviews and some super fan stories you won't want to miss. That's Monday at 6 30 p.m. right here on Local 4.